BeamNG Drive has a secret career mode that's been in place since version 0.30. I never had the chance to try it out up until now. So as we can see here with the main menu of BeamNG, we can see that the career is grayed out with it says career coming soon. Well, it ain't coming soon up until now. If you just click on the career mode just once before you have to do it like five times like if it's a phone. We can see here that the career mode is in the experimental phase as the profile saves will not work in between releases and the game balancing is a work in progress and limited gamepad and peripheral support. Are you ready to continue? Either no or yes, I'm buckled up and ready to go. So let's get buckled up and ready to go. So as you can see here for our profiles, we ain't got any. So let's click on the plus button and name our save name. So since my channel is called Tries to Coon my freaking Steam name, go with this too. And let's try the tutorial for the heck of it. So I click on start and start up the career mode. Okay, here we go. Career mode early access. And of course, this tutorial introduces essential gameplay mechanics and controls. Taking them like I'm brand new to the BMG Drive game. Complete the tutorial to save your progress. A uh, walking mode. Use the freaking camera and uh, walk around. I'm a snowman, bitch. And we got traffic. Interesting. Any of my automation cars? Or is it just all BMG cars? So let's walk around. Wast. You happy? Now you're happy. And enter the freaking COVID that I haven't used in ages in this game. F to enter, and we're in the interior camera. Switch to camera modes by button 8, which is the select button on my PS4 controller. And automatically start the car up for me. Thank you very much. Rev the engine. And do car stuff. Careful driving requires careful input. No, I'm a badass in this game, you know what I mean? So drive around the park without using the Y-axis, R-axis, X-axis, A and D. So that's just my controller. So first gear we go. Oh, it's our cable. First gear we go. Steer. See, look at me. I'm steering. You like a game? Delivery crash the vehicle. What? Okay. Let's press the defense. I died. Recovery options vary by gameplay mode. Vehicle insurance and roadside assistance keeps you moving. Okay, then we got some insurance in this game. Our insurance covers the repairs, I paid the deductible, even though if I'm at fault, complete fault by crashing a car, here in America, if you're at fault, you're screwed, you pay out of pocket. In this game, it's a whole different story. Alright, use right POV to recover the vehicle. Okay, recover and repair. Nice. Discover where around you, you go to Jefferson Motors, if that's it. Press 13 button, open the map, your vehicle is in frozen place. So the car is back to its original condition, so it's open up the map as so, kind of like in the recent implementations of this game. And select the Apex Gas Station POI, the point of interest. I think that's what that means. Yeah, point of interest, and select the route. And close the map. Yeah, I know. And let's drive to Apex Fuel. Drive using the RY axes, RX axes, X axes, A and D. No, I want to just use a controller, and that's it. And here is the gas station. Coming a little bit hot and stop next to the fuel pump. Oh, where's my gas door? My gas door is on the left side or the right side? No side? Huh? You're telling me you made this car without the little indentation for a gas door. Does it say like, because normally there's like an arrow that you can see kind of like where the gas door is at, like on the fuel pump there. Like if it shows like left, meaning the gas door is on your left and the little right arrow on the gas pump means that the gas door would be on the right. So whatever. Stop at Mr. Fuel Pump right here where the big ass P sign is at. Stop at the P and refuel the vehicle, either gasoline or diesel. Right, just fill some diesel in and be like top freaking gear and put a diesel engine or a diesel put diesel in a gas engine. All right, I'm in refuel vehicle. Do I have to turn it off? Excuse me. I said refuel vehicle. Is this thing broke or what? Oh, finally. Okay, now I got this to work. I ended up disabling the unicycle weapons mod, which is basically the third person snowman and character type of weapons mod rigging act like a freaking AK-47 minigun and shoot your cars and all that stuff. So keep an eye on your fuel gauge, top up, and do all that stuff. So now, I can finally refuel my car. So right trigger. Whoops. Just click on it, whatever. So click on it and pay for the fuel, I don't care. We got 7,675,000 000... beam bucks. So it's just, whatever, $21, good enough. Damn, did that say 520 beam bucks for a gallon? Damn. They don't fly in America. 
and challenges and all that good stuff. So select a few details. Just drive up to the freaking marker and yeah. And rip the bumper off the Legrand and hardly get any damage on my car. <laughs> you ain't got a bumper, fool. And park inside a circle. And your first challenge, click on view details and arrive at the destination. Whatever. Arrive at the destination. Arrive in time. Avoid using the vehicle recovery and arrive in time. Fair enough. And my first challenge as the camera. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see what the camera takes me to. Your first challenge for keeping it simple. Your primary destination. Your primary goal. Reach destination. Keep in mind that this isn't a race. So watch out for obstacles, curves, barriers. They're unforgiving. And objectives, lower right corner, so three, two, one, go. Gun it. Get out the way, Lansdale. Right turn, he's making a right turn. Sick ass drift with the e brake and pass the Lansdale on the opposite side of the road as he used to be drag race Ruby until I hit an uh get an arrow in the knee and cars parked. Oh yeah, I forgot I enabled that with the traffic. So we got a good nine minutes and fifteen seconds to reach the destination. Which, that ain't much of a problem, as you can see me driving like a complete jackass, and there goes the COVID. Is that a performance level COVID as I pass on the right doing so? So, nine minutes, we should be okay, just drive safe, uh, not safe, but, uh, get there in one piece, don't damage the car, and complete the challenge as so. Bitch, you should wait, I'm more important than you. Wait, is this taking me to the dealership as I've seen in some of the other videos? So, arrive at the target destination, stop the vehicle, and... Yes, the dealership, so... Come on in. Park right here, it seems, as I do this in first person. Like you should, and look at that, look at that, perfect, right up against the curb! Well done, that was a quick example of locating, starting, and completing a challenge. Review the objectives and rewards below. I did all of them, quick, uh, typically you can try challenges, but now it's, uh, continue here in the bottom right. So, gameplay for every driving style, for racing, for cargo stuff, for being a bad cop, and being a stuntman that could kill himself in the next four years. And I get out to go to the dealership? Okay, let's check out the dealership. Build your dream collection. Dynamic inventory. Check dealerships off for new inventory. Kind of like in real life. And same thing for used cars. Take out on a test drive. Trade your own vehicles for discounts. Kind of like in real life. So, I could choose between four vehicles here, starting with the 1989 Covet 1.5 liter LXI manual, the 200BX Type L manual, or the ETK i Series 2400 IX also in manual. And we can inspect each vehicle as a damn, just about 50,000 miles, 130,000 miles, and 177,000 miles. Are you kidding me? So, let's inspect the Covet and see what this is like. Kind of like the car, I. Practically just drove. Is this like the same trim model? Hold up, hold up. What's my trim model? 1.5 liter DX, and this is the DXI, or LXI. The more luxury model. Oh, he's got a little container in the back. Oh, I can smuggle some stuff to the country. The 200 BX with a fair amount of miles, of course, it being a BX, or I should say the 180, 240, or 200 SX, which is practically what this car is. Well, we got, of course, that type of car. What's underneath the hood, despite being 130,000 miles? Pretty clean four-cylinder engine. Not bad. And last car, the ETK i-series that costs a tad less than the 200BX. Well, we got the freaking i-series. As so, and stop being an asshole, people. Look at that, leather seats. You can't get that in either vehicle. That's up for sale. Look at leather seats. Um, manual windows or power windows? Hold on. Looks like powered windows, because I don't see a crank anywhere, because this is pretty much where it was new back in the 80s, was the use of automated uh, power windows, especially in Chrysler, Cadillac, and everybody. So, clean interior, despite the mileage, 177,000. What's underneath the hood? So, looking underneath, we got a clean engine. <laughs> probably this type of mileage, you probably have some, like, build-up anywhere, it's like some I don't want to say oil sludge, but some dirt debris or whatever that the last owner didn't really take care of. But at least this dealership or the last owner took care of this car very well. I guess for the car I might use, uh, purchase vehicle. Well, where's purchase info? Oh, I got to go to the car after doing so. But yeah, I was about to say for the car I might be choosing, since everybody is using the freaking 200 BX and not the Covet or the I-Series. I guess it'll be the freaking I-Series Giga Chad and probably choose this car. So I have to go up to the vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, purchase info. 
So, I could be willing to just buy the car. Damn, outright. Uh, dealership fees, $249. Can I take some of these fees off? Kind of like in real life, they just charge us with embellish, like the VIN etching, the detailing, the freaking biohazard fee or whatever. Take all that off. And the sales tax, like every Republican says, taxation is stuff. Hashtag it's stuff. For $490.58. And if I could choose a trade in and make this even cheaper, damn, 3000 almost $3,200. Like right away? Yeah, $3,200 right away, and this will be $4,076.65. So, what's this do? The ice series be a Giga Chat in the game. Yes, I want to purchase this vehicle. Yes. There, I can drive it off the lot, and... Cinematic camera. <laughs> there, there's my car. Y your first vehicle. Drive away right axis. Go, bitch! Aw, oh, I was gonna you have that camera. Just keep that camera on, and then just drive on out of here. Drive to the Blasco City Garage. It followed up right across the street. So, let's be a civil person. With the Lansdale go, and gun it. The facelift Lansdale, and go to the garage, and parky marky. And vehicle management hub, nice UI interface, oversee your inventory, browse vehicles for sale, tune your vehicle's handling performance. Yes sir, and why did my taskbar flash? So exit the car, and check out the PC, and the PC just turned on. Okay, so purchase painting is locked at the moment, so just purchase parts. So what can I do? Uh, uh pimped out under development, pimp my ride. There you go, exhibit. I can purchase a spoiler. Yeah, just a spoiler for right now. So a small lip spoiler. Can I just walk in the back and just say click install? So here's the back end. I gotta get profile. Here's the back end. Small lip. Not too bad. I'll give you that. Not too bad. Yeah, not that bad. Purchase parts, about $400, so purchase. The replaced parts will be in your inventory. I don't care. This is my brand new spoiler, so up the value of the, the freaking car and go from there. Tutorial complete. The road awaits. What should you do now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. JK. So, seeing that the tutorial is complete, can I just walk up and pimp the car out even more? So, paint the car? Tune. Let's see it. What's up? Uh, vehicle tuning. It's under development. So I can tune the car from the tire pressure. Let's overinflate the tires because why not? Apply the, the severe tires. Didn't blow up. Cool. What if I deflate the tires? Nice. Now they're flat. So just as basic suspension tuning, camber, toe-in, pressure, tire pressure. Probably more advanced once you get to like buying turbochargers or all that stuff. So paint the car. So what if I just paint the car, like, right away? Oh, right away! Oh! Nice. Nice. All right, let's choose frickin' Volkswagen type of blue with the paint job, paint number two, which is kind of grayed out, so what's this? Oh, seriously, what's paint? I don't see nothing for paint two at the moment, no? And paint number three. Still nothing. Well, that's it for the paint job. How about anything else with, like, the parts and everything? So, in terms... I have to, like, check under the engine bay and all that stuff. So, in terms of general, like, performance parts, so let's check out the engine and everything. So, this is a basic 2.4 liter engine. How about the engine? Ooh, I could, I could six-cylinder swap this. So, oh, 2.4 six-cylinder? I6? Or, if I got the money, just swap it to the three liter I6 and go balls deep with this bad boy. Make this a wannabe ETK 3000 series. Damn, the unibody, the actual body is 12,000. <laughs> Add ABS. Oh, there's already has ABS. Damn, ABS in 1989? Freaking Chrysler New Yorker Fifth Avenue is engineered with ABS brakes, so it's safer when you drive, or hands-free visor phone, this and that. Dual exhaust. Okay. Racing exhaust? Let's do dual exhaust. Let's just tame it up a little. Hmm. Anything better? Oh, damn. Now we're talking. <laughs> if the freaking traffic ain't that much of a deal, like, Serata be to get a better list of this engine, so regular exhaust? Just... Yeah, I'm a car. Wide exhaust. I exactly. Will this be legitimate and add a wide exhaust for now? Damn, a thousand dollars. Uh, let's do it. All lip spoiler. So this is the lip spoiler, and that is a lip spoiler. So we got the badass lip spoiler versus the basic one that goes from here. Well, if it improves aerodynamics, why not? But I have to repaint the damn front bumper yet again. 600, whatever, I can repaint the bumper and everything for free. A vented hood. I could probably fly with it. I'll probably choose it. I'm kind of like being a freaking ricer nowadays to spend all the parts on customization for the exterior, but do like hardly nothing with the actual engine performance, like how it drives and this and that. Boy, add some goddamn side skirts. 
<laughs> we'll be a broke boy by the time we buy these, so we got the regular side skirts, mid, some side skirts, not so much of a mid. Why the hell now let's be a broke boy, be a ricer. And now repaint this car back, there we go, to the frickin' wannabe Volkswagen type of blue color. So somewhat of a tacky creation that we got here for this car, so let's apply everything and get back to driving. Just hit Control c and walk to the car and get going. And let's choose our first mission by driving... Uh, hell wait, hold on, what's out here? Oh, chases! Oh, hell yeah, let's do this first. We'll do the frickin' pigeons a little bit later. So, unpaid fines and hide at home, so it's just right around the corner. Let's just do these two police chases first and then the flock of pigeons, because the flock of pigeons missions... Let's see how this new engine sounds like first exhaust. Get out here, and... Not too bad. I was about to say, with the Flock of Pigeons missions, it seems like that mission is like... That never worked for me for the several attempts I tried to load up the missions. Like, I load up the mission, try it out, and the mission don't load. Like, you do spawn in everything, but... It seems like the cannons don't work, or the pigeons, the cars, they don't work either. I hope we can get it to work with this attempt. So first one, unpaid fines. Let's see here. Finish the challenge under a minute. Uh, arrest a suspect. Remain undamaged. So stop the driver who is willing to pay fines. Yeah, screw you, dude. Pay your fines, goddammit. Bring the latest smack down like they do in Georgia or Arkansas and just literally kill this guy. Unpaid fines and let's go. Two, one, one, go to an interior view. So headlights on. Hazards and... Hold up. Why do I hear something like... That's my damn automation car! <laughs> my freaking F1 V10 car! From back there, from my automation to BMG creation. So do the weak-ass pit maneuver. And... Box him in. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. There, and win under 30 seconds. Damn! We were 500 milliseconds away! I could do this. Come on, I could do this. And you could still hear the frickin', what is that, the Haven? F1 Haven? Whatever it's called? So interior, headlights, hazards on, and I believe I is the siren. Yep, tell people to get the hell out of my way, and pretend it's a real-life police chase, so pit maneuver. There's the pit. And... There... He, she goes. Box it in. Come on, man, I want to do the damn challenge su successfully! So you have to do this within 30 seconds. If not, then... Oh, well. So, pit maneuver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, man! There, stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Bastard! There we go, that's a pit maneuver that I wanted to... Begin with five. No. No. Arrest the suspect once. Will this work too or no? Two. One. Zero. Still four stars because the dumbass hit me and only once. The suspect is stunned and it had how fast you arrested him. Yeah, just like in Georgia. All right, four, three, two, one. He ain't going nowhere. Now we got five stars, and the suspect is stunned. Again, how fast I arrest him in 26 seconds, 117 milliseconds, which is my personal best. Thank you. Now, let's do the other challenge. Pretty damn hard. It took me like a good 12 or 15 attempts just to spin the suspect out and to get all five stars, because when you make the first bend there, the AI, they just hit the brakes real hard to the point where it's impossible to spin them out and like wedge them up against the pole or whatever to another AI car and keep them at bay until the time runs out. And whatever freaking blank screen. Help me. Okay, I had to restart the game, and dude, where the hell is my car? Dude, where's my car? Can I go here? It's in my storage. Retrieve. Damn, $8,500. Retrieve. There's my car. F to get in, and let's go back to another challenge where I could do another police chase. And first of all, we clear. And don't steer in the freaking wall. So it did, we do have all three stars and two beam stars, wherever this is, the extra stars here. So it did save the unpaid fines and hide at home. Freaking Walmart at home looking at it. So escape to your house while a few police units chase you. Yeah, in my D-series? 
Oh, really? I have to use a freaking D-Series, not my car, to do all this? That sucks. Well, I can with these two challenges, but not the bonus challenges here. So I have to use the D-Series and enable traffic and whatever respawn would say in the bottom. So outsmart the police and arrive at your house safely and securely. You can take shortcuts and other routes if you want. Arrive at the marked destination. Make sure the police ain't on my ass. So we got a unit behind me and another unit behind me doing a freaking hell of felony stop. Or some extreme backup because, well, I have a lot of contraband in the car that the cops don't want to know. So let's get things started off in three, two, one, and the most wanted looking ass type of arrest evade meter on the top there. Condition two with. I outsmarted one cop. That cop is a dumbass. <gasps> Don't hit the pole. I'm being raped in the ass. Watch out, kids. And another cop. Get out of my way, cop. Watch this. Ankles. Ankles. That cop definitely got his ankles broken. Let's just focus on the road without crashing my damn car. There's a cop there. You're gonna hit the. Taxi cab. Highway to the danger zone. Well, unfortunately, we failed that one challenge, so let's just offense fair to stop at an intersection. Screw you, officer. And screw you, officer. Volume. Oh, damn, they just wrecked each other. You can see the top of your screen with the beer. And since it's not Need for Speed, I did not receive any bounty, like any bonus points so I could do a Need for Speed Most Wanted by disabling a police cruiser. Oh, damn. He tried to go in for the kill. Like, how fast am I going? Like, I can't even see. 80 miles an hour? He tried to one for the kill? Better watch it, fool. All right, I made my way to the racetrack. Let's see. I swear to God, if cops spawn... No, I thought that was a cop car. That's the little light box there. If, it was, if there's a cop car that spawns on the racetrack, I don't know. Yeah, bitch, we drag race the cop car. What it do, fool? What it do? <laughs> no way. No way we got the cops spawning at the racetrack. At least he went around that smoothly, so... <laughs> Let's just randomly complete a lap and go back home and evade the cops. If there's a cop in front of me, then I don't know what to do with this game. So I did a whole lap, and the evade meter still hasn't gone up. I, I hear the cops, but where are they at? Like, I hear them, but I don't see them because the little top there, the little eyeball, the eyeball, it's just not even... I think it's when you get, like, close to cops that they that the eyeball, like, the meter goes up and down if you're, like, in front of a cop or something like that as they pay attention. But the arrest and evade meter, neither of them have gone up. I think I have to eliminate these three cop cars and get away... Like, get away from them, and hopefully a cop doesn't spawn in and make things worse to my evasion. Well, here's right there. Oh, my! Damn, dude! No, police collision! You collided into me! Just laid a smackdown on my ass like his name was Stone Cold Steve Austin. And now I'm really auto steering to the left because they hella damaged my steering alignment that woke with the steering wheel. This is straight. And... Death of steering wheel at like 90 degrees just to keep it straight. Look, see, here's the eyeball beater. It's gone up. Whoa, it's gone up because they see me and it should go down once they don't see me. See, it's going down and it should go up again because these two cop cars are gonna wee woo at my ass and let's not go home just yet because that should be my home right down there. A police roadblock. They spawned police roadblocks? Interesting. Oh, they boxed me in. I'm being boxed in. I'm good as they get themselves stuck, you dumbasses. And, hold up, stop here. I ain't stopping here. Oh, I can use the little opening here. Oh, I'm gonna use that next time around. Jesus Christ! My draft shaft broken! Help! Help me! Yeah, I'm screwed. Two, one... Zero. Failed. Yep. Get in the car. You're under arrest. I'm dead. Well, at least I know what to do. Just go home. Wee woo wee woo. And take this off ramp. And not juke those two cops I'd like earlier. And remain undamaged or lightly damaged so I can have a perfect completion. Get away, taxi. As you hit the damn taxi cab. It's your fault, you dumbasses. Both y'all dumbasses. 
And watch this dumbass in a cop car. Not really because... I dodged him. Let's ignore what I just said. Alright, stop here. Success! Two minutes? Are you kidding? A minute and 20 seconds? Damn! What if I try that? What if I try to be in a minute 20 without doing any quick evasions, just speed run us through? I swear. You're a dumbass, both of y'all. Alright, use that shortcut there. And meter's going down, down, down. And stoppy, stoppy. Success! About a complete minute, nice! Now, what happens if I hit continue the challenge start? Will this keep you at a black screen? It will. Do I have to, like, disable more mods, or is this a for real bug? Like, you hear me driving. Weird. Like, why do I have to keep doing this all the time? So, for the final challenge for this video, can I do the flock of pigeons? If not, then another challenge will be the last. Uh, nothing to configure here. Six pigeons, four cans, take them all, bone pins to win. Okay, start. Will this work finally? Did, did I do this before or no? Like, did I do this in free roam? Because this was notorious of not working. All right, we got the cars. Uh, lag, we got the cars. And na 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 tab. So. They're not moving. Is it the truth or not? I think I just shoot at them no matter what. I thought they come at you. So with this cannon, I gotta set back... Yes, the furthest it can go by going back, and I'll be shy of hitting any of the pigeons. What if I back up? Makes it worse. Well, anyways, fire in the hole. Is there a... Is there a... Cannonball cam? Oh, yes. Here we go. Uh... Missed. Damn it. Alright, medium mark. Go. Please. Swears in the chat. Missed in the chat. Or, it can touch its ass, like that. Hey, it counts as a target destroyed. And medium high arc, go. Please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom, got your ass, got that ass. And got nobody's ass. That's one star, so I got a few more to go. And final cannonball is probably gonna hit my same to get. Just enough targets, one star, improve my score. Well, try again. I know it's stupid. What happens if I go over the foul line, like the barriers here? Like, what if I cross over? Will it. I can cheat. Yep, let's cheat, kids. We're gonna cheat. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Remain the boundaries. Oh, shysters. Good plan and devs. So, what happens if I get really super close? to the, my asshole. So I was about to say, get it very close to the out-of-bounds line and have the cannon point straight. Now it dropped down to the lead car. So anyways, bombs away. Is it accurate? Inaccurate? Are you kidding me, game? Round two. See, the arc's too high, and I'll take out the back car. Merked him, and it'll go back and possibly hit and miss everybody! How? And this one, direct hit. Damn! Got your ass. Looks like two targets destroyed there. And can number three. This seems on point, and this will be a bounce over the other pigeon. Well, I can't do the other two with one stone. No, I can't. They're at a weird-ass position. I want my three stars for crying out loud. And... Just clip that one. That should destroy... Yes, the other one. As you can see, two out of four. Now I gotta somehow hit this lead pigeon and ricochet in the other one. And then cannon three and four will take out these two. Wow. Skirted over his bitch. And ass. What if I just uncomplicate things? Ed just do pretty much what the challenge is like. Intending us to do just aim up a little bit and shoot like that and just let the let the cannonball just roll Oh, look at this. Look at this <laughs> I guess that was the intention. Oh look, it's used to be coming back now. It is coming back 
Can I hit something else? Or... Hmm? Hit this? Damn, dumbass. Should have hit that. And again, aim up just a little bit. Uh, line up a little. Good. Seems straight. And... Not straight enough for the other pigeon. Or widgeon. Close enough. Got that guy. A lot of debris. A lot of debris. Damn. <laughs> that cannonball got some. And yeah, can't three. Please be good. Please be down the center. Okay, we got this pigeon and the widgeon. Him. Him. Now, we got the other widgeon left to go. Let's be a badass. Go over the line. Go over the barriers without going over the line. And watch out. Watch out. Breaks. Back up and align the shot. Alright, seems to be perfectly in line, so what I have to do is drop the cannon. First of all, let the cannon settle, let it settle, and then prepare to fire. Alright, settle down, fire. <gasps> direct hit! Yes! You have stopped every target, well done! That was a direct ass hit, I knew where to go, because I've been doing this for 18 minutes. So I also notice about doing the UI, instead of quitting the game, if I go to challenge star, it should have a black screen. Oh. So what I did was hit the F5 button to refresh the UI, and it got rid of the black screen. So, if you come to a black screen, hit the F5 button, and you should be good to go, like right here, as a Lansdale drives right past me. And I can see the car and my entire surroundings. Oh, good to know. So, with Beeman G Drive's career mode that I've tried out for the first time, despite being out for, like, what, four months or something like that since version 0.30? I'd say the career mode seems pretty unique and kind of fun. You get to pretty much start at the bottom from driving a COVID and trading in a car and doing a bunch of unique missions from driving a cop car, abusing authority, going about your way, to evading the police, and doing a bunch of unique challenges to earn as much money as possible in the game, to customize your car, buy newer cars, and all that good stuff, as far as I know. And seeing that this is the first video of the career mode, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more of Beeman G's career mode. So anyways, that'll do it with Beeman G Drive's career mode. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.